Good morning, Lord bless you. Today we're going to be uh, reading in the Word of God again and uh, uh, coming together. First Corinthians chapters 9 and 10, and we're going to read in Psalms chapters 99 and 100. And i uh, start out First Corinthians chapter 9. And am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are not ye my work in the Lord? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you, for the seal of mine apostleship are ye in the Lord. Mine answer to them that do examine me is this, Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister or wife, as well as other apostles, and as the brethren of the Lord and Cephas? Or I only and Barnabas have not we power to forbear working? Who goeth a warfare any time at this at his own charge? Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth God take care for oxen? Or saith he it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that ploweth should plow in hope, and he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope. If we have sown unto the spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather nevertheless we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ? Do ye not know that they are they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple, and they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar? Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be so done unto me. For it were better for me to die than that any should make my glorying void. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me, if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I make the gospel of Christ without charge that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law, to them that are without law as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ that I may gain them that are without law. To the weak I became as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all men, by all means, save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. No, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that our, all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all did and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them God was not well pleased, 
for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples, to the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless it is it not the communion of the body blood of sorry of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold, Israel, after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to God. I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? We are stronger. Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but not. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no question for conscience sake. For the Lord, earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you eat, asking no questions, questions for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it and for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? For if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for that for which I give thanks? Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please, all men and all things, seek not, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Amen. Our walk is not really about ourselves, but it's about seeing others saved and coming to Christ. Um, because he's done the work in us. Glory to God. And so now we're trying to bring more to the Lord. Uh, Psalms chapters 99 and 100. Yeah. The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise the great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou, doest, thou dost establish equity. Thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name, they call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar, they kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answeredest them, O Lord our God, thou wast a God that forgavest them, thou that tookest vengeance 
of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Amen. Psalms 100, a psalm of praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah, glory to God, thankful for the goodness of God, and let's make a joyful noise unto him and give him praise throughout all the lands. Lord bless you. I hope you have a great day.